All right, guys, so this is going to be the recording for uh, Notes 2D.2. We are now going to take the uh, four of the new angle pairs that we learned yesterday, and we're going to throw some algebra in with it, depending on whether they are congruent or they are supplementary. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your alternate exterior angle flap right here in the top left. And our, con our uh, conditional statement here says, if two lines are pair, or sorry, two lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate exterior angles are congruent. So, as a reminder of what we talked about in the, in the previous notes, when we open it up, we have two different examples here. First thing we need to do on the left one is make sure that we put parallel line markings on here. If I am going too fast, I need you to pause it and resume once you've. Um, got cut up. Also, whenever we get to the algebra and we're working solving for x, I always highly encourage students to stop it, solve for x on their own, and then resume and see if they did the steps correctly, especially if we're somebody who struggles with solving for x. With that being said, our alternate exterior angles, if you uh, watched my previous notes or you are in my class, um, I, we've talked about this be between the parallel lines. This is like a road, okay? And Obviously, I am an amazing artist, and here's my car, vroom, vroom, driving down the road. Okay, so that's how we can determine in the road or outside of the road. So we are on the opposite side, alternate meaning opposite side of the transversal, and we are out of the road, safe and sound, not getting hit by the car. So alternate exterior, we have congruent. So without the algebra, we, just, we can just set it equal to each other that x is equal to 98 degrees here. Once we start bringing in algebraic uh, expressions like 4x plus 11, we need to remember how to solve. Whenever these are congruence, we set them equal to each other. So we would have 4x plus 11 is equal to 170. This is where you should pause it, solve for x on your own, then press uh, resume and see if you got the correct answer. First step, subtract 11 from both sides, so those cancel. We're left with 4x equals 159. Then we need to divide each side by what's attached to x there, the 4. And we do come out with a decimal, and x is going to equal 39 and 75 hundredths. And there's our solving for x, setting them equal to each other. Okay. We'll close that door, and we'll move over here to the right. And we look at our conditional statement here says if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Again, a review of what we talked about already. So we open up, we will see our two examples here. First, we need to make sure that these are set as parallel. And knowing that these are congruent, we are now on opposites. We're still on opposite sides of the transversal, but now we're in the road. So if a car was coming through from room, we're going to end up getting hit, okay, because we're in the road. So that's why we call it the interior. And because they are congruent, we can simply just say that x is equal to 53 degrees. When we have our algebraic expression here, we are still dealing with congruency. We just need to set them equal to each other. So we have x equals 128 minus x, where you pause, solve for x on your own, and then resume to see if you got the correct answer. In this case, I have a minus x over here. Separate as a term a negative x. We need to get rid of that. We're going to add an x to both sides. This will leave us with two x's on the left. And then 128 gets brought down on the right. Last step, we need to divide both sides by 2, leaving us with x equals 64. Solving for x. Okay. We'll close that door and we'll move downstairs and to the left, our same side exterior. And when we talk about same side, we focus on those s's there. If parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side exterior angles are supplementary. There's that s. Same side supplementary. So now we're no longer setting them equal to each other. We add them to equal 180, and you have done all of the stuff, the solving for x like this before. We just see different pictures now. 
We're going to set these parallel lines. We're going to put the parallel line markings on there. Now, we've seen it a lot where it's like this, where we've got a road right here. But you need to be able, you need to be aware and see different examples where they are ro they are rotated. Okay, so this is now in the road. So we have our two angles. They're on the same side of our transversal, but they are out of the road, so they're not going to get hit by the car. So if a car drives through here, we're not going to get hits. But they are supplementary, so we have 118 plus the other one of x is equal to 180. Supplementary. All we do is we subtract that 118 from both sides, and we're going to get that x equals 62 degrees. Going back and checking, 118 plus 62 is going to give us 180. Looking at the algebra, here is inside the road, so we are out of the road. We are on the same side of our transversal. So we will take our 3x plus 10. We are going to add it to the 140 degrees, set it equal to 180. What we need to do first is go ahead and take our 10 and our 140, and we need to combine our like terms. So we're going to get 3x plus 150 equals 180. Remove that 150, move it to the other side so that we're left with our 3x on the left. On the right, we're left with 30. Divide both sides by 3. x is going to equal 10. Okay, very short and quick. We're already almost done. Close that door, move over to the right. Same side interior, focus on the same side, the S's. Our uh, conditional statement, our if-then conditional statement with our hypothesis and our conclusion, reminder of unit 2C. If parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side interior angles, same side, are supplementary. Okay, so again, we're going to add the two together to equal 180 degrees. So let's open up and take a look at what we have. Set these as parallel. We add the 91 degrees here plus the x is equal to 180. Subtract the 91 from both sides to isolate x. And we're going to wind up with x equals 89 degrees. Sorry, I got a little sloppy there. My picture got in the way. It's 89 degrees. The next one actually is the exact same. Um, we don't have a whole lot of algebra going on right here. We're going to take our x plus 137 degrees and set it equal to 180 for our supplementary. And all we have to do is subtract the 137 from both sides to get it away from x. So that x is then going to equal 43. Okay, and that's the algebra part of it. Um, we did not do the corresponding, but corresponding we know are going to be congruent, corresponding, congruent, the C's and corresponding and congruent. So you would do the same process if you recognize corresponding English, do the same process we did here with the alternate interior and exterior angles. That is the finish of the notes, and I wish you good luck on the assignment that you have.